Hi and welcome to this year's Valentine's Day video. Uh, this is an illustration I did a few weeks ago for this day because I thought that I would want to do another one of these of me and my husband. I was searching in Pinterest for some inspiration poses for couples and I found this one and I made my own sketch and uh, kind of tried to make me as the girl and of course my husband as the man and I did the sketch uh, with a red pencil so it would look a little bit softer because I wanted this to look like a soft cute moment with a couple Here I'm using Windsor and Newton watercolors. Uh, they are some kind of a hobby quality, so not the best probably, but it's fine for me when I'm just starting to, you know, get back into watercoloring. There's a lot of things that I would change in this pose. I, I don't really like that. <laughs> face I did uh, for my husband. It doesn't look that much like him, but I, I just went with it because I <laughs> right now I'm struggling with time to do some illustrations, so I'm kind of off from drawing <laughs> in general. And I did a um, kind of similar one last year. And it's kind of fun to see what has changed and what hasn't changed in a year. One particular hard thing for me in watercolor as well is uh, skin color. So uh, I feel like I didn't <clears throat> really get down the skin color in this one either. I, I remember that that was the problem with the last Valentine's Day drawing as well. I don't know what it is to mixing the skin tone colors it's <laughs> it's so hard when you don't have like a ready color for that i wanted to capture a moment that i love to do with him this pose was perfect because uh he loves to read a lot and i just like to chill with him <laughs> so um, I love this feeling of just being near him when he's concentrating on reading and I'm almost falling asleep I wanted this to feel like a very cozy and warm and lovey-dovey and <laughs> You know that kind of feeling um, that's why it's mostly pink and red and lavender so uh, it's kind of pastel you feel more cozy and cute it's uh, a shame that I don't know how to use watercolors yet so well because I it kind of takes away from the illustrations and I feel very unsatisfied when I don't know the techniques yet. But there are good things I like about this as well. I like the texture of the pink blankets and pillows. I don't know why, but I think it looks cool. And I like the girl. Um, I like her uh, textures and hair and the pose more than the guy's pose. One thing I love to do in my illustrations a lot is putting dots everywhere. I don't know where it started, but I do this in my body paints and my makeup as well, but um, especially in art. <laughs> so here I put on some hearts and dots everywhere to make it look more magical.
I don't feel like I get enough detail out of watercolor yet and that's why I uh, go back to pencils wooden pencils and colored pencils uh, that I'm using here they are the Stadler or whatever you pronounce it I don't know how you pronounce that um, I'm using them to kind of make the things that I want to make with watercolor but I can't so I just kind of cheat and make it with these ones I know it's not cheating it's mixed media but I would love to you know get this look with proper watercolor techniques maybe someday but I do love the texture that these wooden pencils also give this uh, illustration I hope you like this short video. I loved making this, even though there are <laughs> there are things that I would change, but I do love the general feeling I got out of it. So yay, happy Valentine's Day, and see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.